اهلا بكم الى برنامج تكلم العربية مع اوباكيت على قناة اوباكيت لينك اليوم باذن الله تعالى سنتحدث عن اقسام الفريد you are all welcome to this program speak Arabic with اوباكيت Today, inshallah, we're going to discuss classifications of verb in our big language. The verb al-fril. The verb in Arabic language is known as al-fril. It is any word that indicates an action in a sentence. A verb shows the action that is being performed in a sentence by the subject. Classifications of verb in Arabic language. Verb in Arabic language is divided into three. One, past tense, filul madi. Two, present tense, filul mudari. Three, command tense, filul amri. Past tense, filul madi. Past tense in Arabic language is referred to as filul madi. It is any action that took place in the past the past sense indicates an event that had happened in the past examples here are some examples Jalasa Luwaladu the boy sat down Kataba Rodia to Rodia wrote Kora a Yusuful Quran Yusuf read the Quran Kora Jali Kalibu the dog went out Da Ali Kitabu the book got lost so the verbs here are jalasa, katabat, kora'a, kharaja, and do'a. The reason why all these verbs are past tense, it's because they indicate the action of the subject in the past. If we look at the above examples, we will discover that all the verbs jalasa, kataba, kora'a, kharaja, and do'a are indicating the actions performed at a particular time. Then, if we look at these times, we find out that they are all indicating the past. That is, those actions were taking place in the past. These types of verbs are therefore referred to as Firul Mahdi, past tense in Arabic language. Two present tense, Firul Mudari. Present tense in Arabic language is known as Firul Mudari. It indicates all the verbs that are pointing to the occurrence of an event in the present time or the future time the present tense in arabic language must start with one of the following alphabets which are referred to as the alphabet of present tense they are alif nun yaw and ta anaitu examples here we have some examples aksilu yadaya i am washing my hand nakura uli qur'ana we are reading the quran the boy is sitting down. Talk to Rodia to Rodia is writing. So the verbs here are Agsilu, Nakurau, Yajlisu and Taktubu. The reason why they are verbs of present tense is because they have the alphabet of present tense attached to them. Alif, Nun, Yao and Ta. A critical look at the words Aksilu, Nakura'u, Yajlisu and Taktubu shows that they are all verbs happening at a particular time which is present or future time. Again, if we look at the beginning of each of these verbs, we will discover that they all start with either of the following alphabets Alif, Nun, Yao and Ta. These are the alphabets of present tense in Arabic language. Three command tense, filul amri. Command tense in Arabic language is known as filul amri. It indicates all the verbs that are requesting the occurrence of a particular action from someone. Examples. Let us give some examples. Ijlis ya walat. Sit down, you boy. Uktubi ya radia. Right, you radia. Ikra. The Quran, read the Quran. Uhudu ayyuhal awlad. Get out, you boys. At imnal miskina ya nisal. Feed the poor, you women. So the verbs here are 
اجلس اكتبي اقرا اخرجي عن اطعمنا The reason why all of these are verbs are feeling amory is because they are telling all of the verbs are telling the second person or the person we are talking to to do a particular action in the future In the above examples the words idlis uktubi ikra ukhruju and atayna are all verbs Also if we look at the sentences we find out that the speakers they are requesting from the listeners and commanding them to carry out a particular action This type of the verb requesting the occurrence of an action is known as command tense in Arabic language Summarily the verb in Arabic language is an action word showing the occurrence of an event either in the past present or requesting for it as a command tense hence these represent the classifications of verbs accordingly into past tense fi'lul madi present tense fi'lul mudarri and command tense fi'lul amri hope you enjoy our lesson for today join us on the next program for another episode of speak arabic with over kids Shukran ala al-mushahada. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel by clicking TV to Facebook and Instagram. And also for more interesting topics and subjects, visit our website www.obatutu.com.